Natalie Cole is sitting right in front of me. I have to do it for her. I don't want her to leave saying that drag queen did a horrible job of my song. Hey everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome to Ms. Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 RuPaul's Drag Race lip syncs in front of the artist. I think Shaka Khan's soul has now entered Widow and is coming alive on this stage. Baby, this is a show. For this list, we're looking at the most impressive and well-received lip syncs witnessed by the song's artists themselves. Which of these performances did the legends and their famous tunes justice? Let us know in the comments. All right, let's get to it. Number 10, Calorie Kardashian Williams versus Vanessa Vangie Mateo. No, the season 10 premiere's guest judge was not Pheromone. For the maxi challenge this week, the queens had to produce looks using items from the 99 cent store. And when it came to Vanjie and Calorie, you could tell. But these slip ups did not stop either performer from turning it in front of Christina Aguilera. Calorie slipped off her skirt made of money and burst into choreography, while her opponent served upside down face off the edge of the stage. I'm a big Christina Aguilera fan, so I say, bitch, go ham and cheese, dish it up, and you better give it buffet style. And when Williams threw handfuls of bills into the air like confetti and jumped into a split, Vanjie responded with a dip that sent her shoe flying. A thoroughly entertaining lip sync on both sides that had the iconic singer hooting and hollering. Number 9, Jaden Dior Fierce versus Candy Ho. When the contestants were tasked with acting in a mockumentary about former judge Merle Ginsburg, Candy was plagued by hair and makeup issues, while Jaden struggled with her lines. And as Rue, the beard was back. And what was going up with the crazy hairline? It was Candy's third time in the bottom two. But that didn't stop her from giving a fierce performance of Ariana Grande's Break Free. I should have said it before. Try to hide it. Looking gorgeous in black lingerie, she delivered major hairography during the song's chorus and breakdown. But it was Jaden who truly shone, embodying the dance pop track by hitting every beat with some club worthy choreo. an approving finger wag from the enraptured singer, it was a moment where both queens could be proud. No Number 8. Widow Von Du vs. Jan When Shaka Khan paid Drag Race a visit, the bottom two queens gave a performance worthy of R&B royalty. While Jan went all out, running across the stage and busting out retro dance moves, Widow took her time to build to an emotional climax. Whipping off her billowing skirt to reveal a sparkly figure-hugging gown, she perfectly matched the intensity of Khan's vocals. Widow is really selling the words and the emotion of this song. With dramatic hand gestures during the chorus and jerky robot-like moves for the song's breakdown, Widow was captivating to watch. Jan delivered impressive cartwheels and stunts, but her competitor edged her out by focusing on Khan's passionate performance. Music legends can be tough to impress, but the queen of funk was clearly moved. <laughs> Number 7. Coco Montrese vs. Jade Jolie Suffice it to say, these two queens' showings in the collaborative anthem Can I Get an Amen were less than star making. Your beard grew back again. Girl, that's okay. Despite their musical issues, both players brought their A game to this rendition of I'm So Excited. I'm spinning, I'm kicking, I'm high energy and fun. I'm just laying everything on the table. From the first few moments of the lip sync, Anita and Ruth Pointer of the Pointer Sisters were all smiles, and for good reason. While Jade twirled and stomped around the stage, Coco brought joyous energy to the R&B group's every word. I can't underestimate Jade. She wants this just as bad as I do. And I just can't hide. I've got to give this my all. Kicking in place and swinging her arms, the pageant queen embodied the uplifting energy that made the 80s song a hit. One look at the judging panel and it was clear that the performance was a joy to behold. <laughs> Number 
number six, Sahara Davenport versus Morgan McMichaels. I stand alone in the eye of the storm. Although she would not be the last queen to do so, Sahara Davenport gave the first ever performance on point in Drag Race history. Embodying grace and power in ballet slippers and a bridal tutu and veil, Sahara was fearless as she leapt off the stage into a split. Although guest judge and carry-on singer Martha Wash watched the lip-sync quietly, she was visibly shocked by the incredible jump. While Morgan delivered emotion, she just could not match her rival's fierce footwork. The number was so powerful that it even had Rue raising the roof. Number 5. Chi Chi Devane vs. Naysha Lopez With icons Debbie Harry and Chris Stein on the judging panel, the stakes for interpreting Blondie's Call Me were high. The only thing that keeps going in my mind is, girl, hustle make it work. While neither queen totally disappointed, Chi Chi in particular stood out as a veritable assassin. Naysha took a risk by immediately kicking off her heels and launching into cartwheels, but her opponent was not far behind. With a high kick into a dip that coincided perfectly with the song's titular line, Chi Chi brought dramatics that made RuPaul burst out laughing. Oh my god. Chi Chi just went in for the kill. And when I say kill, I mean there was blood everywhere. But that wasn't all. During the song's extended instrumental break, the Louisiana Queen turned out rarely seen front walkovers and back handsprings. Acrobatics cannot save an emotionless performance, but Chi Chi reminded us how killer dancing can enhance a passionate lip sync. Number 4. Widow Von Du vs. Gigi Good. I can tell that Miss Nikki is getting her mother life. In the season 12 premiere, the contestants had to write and perform rap verses, and the two top queens unusually had the chance to duke it out on stage. It was immediately clear that Widow was giving it her all in front of Nicki Minaj. They say what they gonna say. Have a drink, clink, found a bud life. Bad bitches like me, it's hard to come by. From the moment she threw off her iridescent gown, she launched into impressive moves like a spinning jump split and a slide across the stage. Not to mention demonstrating downright ridiculous flexibility. While Widow showed off jaw-dropping dancing, Gigi delivered funny moments like struggling to get on the floor and lying motionless on the stage. Minaj couldn't contain her excitement, and the rapper's reactions were almost as entertaining as the lip sync itself. Number 3. Adore Delano vs. Trinity K. Bonet Paula Abdul is a legendary choreographer, so performing in her presence is not exactly child's play. But if the grin on her face was any indication, the guest judge loved the lip sync to Vibology just as much as many fans did. Both queens matched the energy and attitude of Abdul's song, with their costumes adding a layer of humor to the number. After nailing acrobatics and kooky dance moves alike, the pair took to the floor to show off their sensual sides. Grinding and nearly locking lips, the duo had Rue captivated. This beloved lip sync was equal parts ferocity and fun, and there is no question that Paula ate it up. Yeah! <laughs> that was the best! Wow! Ooh. Number 2. Evie Oddly vs. India Farah Evie can be counted on to impress as a performer, but as guest lip sync assassin in the All Stars Season 5 premiere, she was truly killer. Season 11 winner brought her eccentric fashion and makeup to the stage. But that wasn't all. 
with a seamless combined backbend and wig reveal, splits, dips, and other demonstrations of her signature flexibility, she had star power in spades. However, India Farah was the true surprise, with her own share of stunts and a somersault that was unbelievably perfect in its execution. every moment of the number was pure entertainment, and guest judge Ricky Martin was visibly in awe. <laughs> Reminder, these are the best lip syncs in front of the artists. Why yes, that is shade. Anyway, uh, let's look through some honorable mentions and then we will get to our soulful number one pick. Katia vs. Sasha Bell a star-making performance for Katya in front of Olivia Newton-John. Katya is doing all these splits, slow splits, back bends, the look is right, just killing. Robbie Turner versus Cynthia Lee Fontaine. Robbie impressed Faith Evans with the show's first ever lip sync in roller skates. Mayhem Miller versus Yuhua Hamasaki. The queen of the party channeled Courtney Love's attitude by ripping feathers from her gown. <laughs> Akasha vs. Tammy Brown Michelle Williams was brought to tears by Akasha's emotional interpretation. Cameron Michaels vs. Monet Exchange While Monet gave a humorous take on Lizzo's good as hell, Cameron served up on-point choreography. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Dita Ritz vs. The Princess I'm so glad you found me in time, and I'm so glad Dita Ritz's performance is considered one of the show's finest, and there's no wonder why. From the first notes of Natalie Cole's This Will Be an Everlasting Love, she was radiant on stage, filling every moment of the lip sync with breathless energy. The princess was no slouch either, prancing around the runway to the upbeat tune. But as Dita emoted every lyric, Cole whooped and hollered, and she and the other judges whipped out handkerchiefs that they waved in approval. Dita wanted to honor the legendary guest judge, and it made for a great lip sync, but also one of the show's most beautiful moments. That is what a lip sync for your life is, baby. That is high drag. At its finest. Can you think of any lip syncs that were performed in front of the artists that were memorable for all the wrong reasons? Be sure to let us know what you think in the comments, good or bad. Or come tell me on Twitter or Instagram at Rebecca Brayton or on my YouTube channel. See ya!